Hey guys, it's your boy Mark. Doing another Mark's Home Tour for you. Got some beautiful homes out here in Ackworth. I wanted to uh, show you these floor plans because if Ackworth is your area, no brainer. But also I'm gonna give you some options because you'll be able to build something like this. You got a bunch of brand new home communities starting in the 300s. Can you believe it? 300s, everything <laughs> that I've been having to videotape mostly has been in fours all the way up to 1.5 million lately. So I know affordability is important to you guys and your dream is to build new if you can. It's gonna be coming to Temple, Georgia, which is west of the city, down I-20. Gorgeous, I did a drive through of the Hiram community uh, that is just started pre-sales, some in Powder Springs um, and Dallas, Georgia. Of course here in Ackworth and uh, I heard there may be some coming to Mableton as well. I don't know if those are gonna be the threes to be honest with you because it's closer to town. But Ackworth is fantastic, Dallas is fantastic, and Hiram and Temple. If you want you know, affordable living, an area that has potential to go in the fours, five, sixes down the line, um, wooded, lot, wooded uh, lots and beautiful finishes and stuff, and the opportunity to pick out some stuff. So you see kind of the exterior color, the covered front porch, the stone down there. If you get in early enough, you'll be able to, before it's permitted, pick out your lot, pick out this floor plan. We'll walk through it, see if you like it. And, oops, here comes the, <laughs> the water. Um, and you'll be able to pick out those type of things. So let's walk through and take a look at what this one looks like and get a vibe for it. First time I'm looking at this floor plan. Very nice. So when you first walk in now, this is a construction zone. They're gonna be covering up like the carpet and some of the flooring and stuff like that. But let's see if we have some lights in here to kind of show you. Uh, I think the dining room light is over here, but let me show you. I always like to start from the entranceway because it's such an important feature. What I love is that you saw the covered front porch where you have the rocking chairs, right? You have pine straw and your shrubbery. And you open that door and you see this very nice wide opening. You can see that it has redwood floors down here, which is a wood particle material, but they're sl they're in plank forms and they're usually in three, five, or seven inch ones, and you get to pick out that color that you want. I mean, this screams like amazing piece of artwork, a gigantic mirror, lighting it up with those library lights. Uh, if you wanna do like three big separate pictures. Um, and then with that little indentation too, you could always build out something on here or do a nice trim wall. So just showing you from this angle and how long this entranceway is, this foyer, very, very nice. Over here to the right, I'm taping this in October of 2023. So holidays, think about Thanksgiving, Halloween, every major um, holiday, Kwanzaa, um, Christmas, obviously, to Hanukkah. Um, this is when you're gathering, you're having people over, you're entertaining. I mean, look at the beautiful front two windows, that three transom and that indentation here which we call a uh, transom uh the transom walls but the the higher ceilings the um tray ceiling as they call them here in the dining room and of course your uh pendant light now this particular buyer chose because you know most of the price points start between like 305 i would say and 330 if you want to you know add more uh to this area it might cost you like another 16 1700 dollars to add the hardwood planks uh, rubber with planks in here. So it's up to your, you know, what your pre-approval is, what your choice is, right? What your own design features are. But a really, really nice um, dining room when you come in. This is, again, I'm, I'm taking it all in as I see it too. And this is really, really impressive. Um, try to turn on some of these lights. Wow. So you have this family room and kitchen. Let's see if we can turn some of these lights on. And let's just start. Let me just take it in from this corner right here. But I'm, I'm really intrigued by this. These lots are just absolutely gorgeous, these wooded lots. Now, you're not going to get the half acre, one acre, and stuff like that, but you're going to get, I mean, you could put a nice fire pit table here. You could extend a concrete patio. But these, like, see how the leaves are changing colors? I mean, this is so amazing when you have a opportunity to build a brand new home. But look at, look at the layout of this room. It's really, really nice. You have the oversized kitchen island where you could put easily four bar stools if you wanted to this is where your refrigerator will go 
This is what they call a kitchenette. So not only do you have the formal dining room, but you have a kitchenette area again with those matching transom windows, another window here, and then this family room is anchored by the fireplace. You know, most people are probably going to put a nice love seat here, a nice long couch here, maybe an oversized chair, coffee table, flick on or use the remote. You could do the standard mantle or the um, rectangular um, electric fireplace. But those windows really, I mean, just have a wall of windows back here with that door as well is fantastic. I'll show you the kitchen from this angle. It gives you both galley style, but also with the island, which is gorgeous. You have the overextended subway tile. You'll be able to pick this. You could save some money by doing it after the fact, or you could choose from probably, they have probably have like 20 selections to choose from. They have granite countertops or quartz or marble. Marble is always going to be the most expensive. Um, dishwasher, sink, stove, microwave, tons of area for storage coffee bar wine bar and then you know providing to um that you know thanksgiving sunday dinners and stuff like that right in here and then a huge pantry over here as well your cereals your oatmeal stuff like that so i mean just imagine walk with me dining room your buffet right here with that coffee bar kitchen you're entertaining people over here people in your kitchen people at your um Island and then in your family room watching TV. We're in football season, college football, basketball is about to get started up again. Imagine you, your family, your kids, your friends, your colleagues, right? Um, yeah, like I said, nine times out of 10, people are going to put that uh, TV on that wall, but you also have another wall to work with here. Another wall looks like if you built on a basement, that would be the uh, door to go down to your basement, but that's going to be your coat closet for this right here. You have a bedroom on the main level, double windows. Don't see that too often in a secondary bedroom, which is really nice. Again, so quiet, so peaceful. I mean, easily could fit a king or a queen size bed. I'd probably do a queen with two nightstands, dresser right there. Looks like that will connect probably to your bathroom closet. Let's take a look at this bathroom over here. Yes, nice, nice full bath. You see the light over here. So tub, shower, toilet, cultured marble. Again, you could do granite or quartz if you want to. And then that connecting door. So whoever your guest is or your kid, if that's going to be your kid's room, they'll have direct access to use this bathroom. And of course, all your guests. This is uh, where you come in through your garage. This is what they call a drop zone or a mud room. If you don't finish it, you're probably going to save yourself three to five thousand dollars but if that's important to you and you want to build out the bench and put the hooks also you could do a nice diy we have so many talented um clients that after they've closed they've done watch the youtube channels hgtv um, youtube all those things and just built out a beautiful bench here you could do a nice accent wall uh, but if you don't have the money right away you know area to put your Shoes and boots and stuff like that when you come in. Bring in your groceries and right into your kitchen. While I'm over here, let me show you an example of the backyard that you'll get in a lot of these. Again, mostly in the threes. Oops, wait. The store is stuck. Okay. Those are the type of things that they fix um, as they approach. Probably your final walk is about a week away. So the, the builder will come through here and say that door is used to be adjusted, right? Um, but you can see some of them have cover back porches. Some of them have extended concrete patios. This particular buyer did an extended concrete patio, but you could also extend it all the way here. But just imagine, I mean, you're going to be able to put your uh, fencing in here, do a nice fire pit, do all this hardscaping, maybe even like a waterfall backdrop, like a waterfall wall here. Have you ever seen where you build out a wall here and then a water feature where it you know dribbles down um that would be an amazing look here again i want you to think this is for somebody that this is their first home this is for a relocation buyer that has never been able to afford 
you know, anywhere from whether it's Arkansas or L.A. or Miami, um, just have never been able to. You know, a lot of the studio apartments in those areas cost thirty five hundred to forty five hundred just to rent out. So you're going to be able to get this in the threes, take some of the um, closing costs, do a rate buy down or pay for almost all your closing costs with the preferred lender. Great storage space. Again, talking about the holidays coming up, Christmas trees, things like that. Boots, shoes, storage areas. Head upstairs. And what do we have here? Oh, yeah. The ever important law space. My clients love a law space. This is like, you know, it's, it typically costs anywhere from 40 all the way up to I've seen 80, 90,000. Now, those are more on like the 4,000 square foot homes for an unfinished basement. Then you got to still put the heating and air, the um, bathrooms, the drywall, movie theaters, all that kind of stuff. That could be another $100,000. So you could be another hundred fifty dollars to $200,000 in to still have to finish a basement. You want to save that kind of money. You saw that great fireplace family room area. This is the game room. This is the family movie night. Big projection screen TV or LED. Row of movie theater seats. Row one, row two. Popcorn machine, movie theater posters. Or home office. Or kids game room. Or billiards tables. Uh, arcade games, right? You can make it totally multifunctional. I mean, you could build out a beautiful desk area for your home office with this beautiful setting with the windows and the trees. Still put a huge TV over here and it's multifunctional now where it's both a TV room and a um, like a family movie night type of area. Bedroom number two kind of matches the one downstairs to the T actually. So this one's Probably a king size bed or again queen. Same setup with the door to the bathroom and the closet. Let's take a look at this bathroom. This is like what they call a Jack and Jill because you'll have another connecting one. Double vanity sinks, transom window, tub shower, toilet. Again, you could do tile. This is rubbed with floor. Another hallway. Look at the size of this washroom. Again, you want to spend an extra maybe $2,500, roll into your mortgage, do the cabinets here. You can. Washing machine, dryer, perfect inlet right there for your laundry baskets. Put like an air shelf, two laundry baskets there. Put a attached ironing board. You could have that go down. Bedroom number three. Again, a king size bed. No problem. Just to show you some of the other, how the houses look on the outside. Ranches and two-story. Flat screen TV again. Another queen size bed. The doorway to that bathroom. That's what again we call it Jack and Jill. Closet. And the great thing is their closet sizes aren't huge. Again, not buying a five, six hundred thousand dollar house, buying something brand new. But all you gotta do is put a nice dresser here, put a nice stand-up dresser, nightstands with drawers. Got plenty, plenty of space. So one, two, three, huge loft space. Now, if you want to not use this loft space, I think you'll be able to also choose to make this into another bedroom if you want to. And this is that look right here. The knee wall and then the primary bedroom. Wow, look at this. This is insane. This is a primary bedroom with two French doors <laughs> for a sitting room, conversation room, you want to build out a coffee bar, a wine bar, put an uh, electric fireplace in here. Or, of course, you could do a home office if you want to. And then your primary bath, double vanity sinks, stand-up shower. And look at this closet. Wow, this is a nice size, too. What I want you guys to do www.greathomesatl.com hit the begin process button shoot me a dm if you have any questions on our process remember all of our services as your buyer representatives are completely free i hope you guys enjoyed this tour again greathomesatl.com 
Mark signing off. This is a great floor plan.